Rachel, it's Friday! No, 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 no. So today we get story time, because something awesome happened today. But not really today, because you'll watch this Friday, and this is Wednesday. I was sitting in literature class, and we were talking about The Giver, because we're reading it, and sorry if somebody's watching this who hasn't read The Giver, we were talking about the part where he learns what color is, and how nobody sees color except Jonas. So anyway, we were talking about how people see color, and Professor Zumhoff said how cool it would be if everybody saw color different. She's like, just think, if you saw one color, but somebody else saw a different color, and everybody saw color differently, and I was like, but everybody does see color differently because eyes and color, and it's awesome, and it's all different for everybody. Exactly like that. So I got a few weird looks in literature class today, and nobody was excited as I was. Mostly because what I said wasn't completely literate. Which is ironic, because it was literature class. So I'm reading Looking for Alaska for the first time ever, and... <laughs> Which I think is the way I feel every time I read a John Green book. This is three out of three times that's happened. And I only have one other book of his to read. It's just... It's just... <sighs> they make you feel so real and it's so raw and alive and you can feel it. There's feelings. Lots and lots of feelings and... All of feelings. And along with all those feelings is also my frustration at not having a job. I'm tired of not having a job. I'm still very broke. And I think one of the biggest problems is I'm really busy. I just have so much stuff that I barely have time for a job. But I still need one. How do you... How? So I applied at the cafeteria, but the lady's like, I need somebody who can work every day from four to close. And I'm like, shit, woman, I can't do that. I can work two days a week, maybe three. And she's like, well, I don't know then. I'll have to think about it. And I was like, well, sorry. I still need money, and you still need a worker. I just can't work that much. It physically can't be in that many places at once. So I still need a job. And I applied at Buildings and Grounds already this semester, and the lady's like, Sorry, we're already training somebody. We don't need anybody right now. And now I see posters around campus that says, Apply at Buildings and Ground. We need painters to paint things. And I was like, I applied. She said, no, thank you. So Wesley says I should apply again to paint things. And that's about all I have to say. I am going to be in the next improv show, which is on February 1st. I know you can't come, obviously. I just wanted to inform you. I will be in the next improv show on February 1st. Which is exciting. That's fun. I'm almost done with my taxidermy bird drawing for class. Today was really frustrating because I was working on the cans today in class. And it just was not going very well. So I stayed an extra hour after the two hour long class and within the last half hour of me being there it finally came together and it was good so that's almost done and it's due on Tuesday so it's a good thing it's almost done I just gotta finish up a few details this weekend and then that will be done and I'll show you pictures because I'm still very happy with it it has some problems Obviously, but 
I think I put out a good first effort. Rachel, I'll see you later.